New Zealand authorities have dealt a significant blow to international criminal syndicates operation after intercepting 3.2 tons of cocaine afloat in the Pacific Ocean. The cocaine is estimated to be worth more than $500 million. The cocaine was found in nets with flotation devices, awaiting collection. Police would not comment on how the drugs came to their attention, however they said that their international partners, including the Five Eyes Law Enforcement Group shared some vital information. The Five Eyes Law Enforcement Group is made up of New Zealand, Australia, Canada, the United States and the United Kingdom. Police Commissioner Andrew Coster said the seizure was one of the biggest hauls of illegal drugs by authorities in New Zealand history. Under Operation Hydros, which began in December 2022, New Zealand police, working in partnership with Customs and the Defence Force, were able to recover the illicit drug in the Pacific Ocean. 81 bales of cocaine were dragged from the sea to land by the Royal New Zealand Navy and then taken to a secure facility to be examined and later destroyed. Police Commissioner Andrew Coster said that given the large size of the shipment it will have likely been destined for the Australian market. The bust is the equivalent of 30 years worth of cocaine supply in New Zealand and one year's worth in Australia. It's estimated it would cause $9 billion worth of social harm if it had been headed for New Zealand. While no arrests have been made at this stage, inquiries will continue into the shipment. The massive scale of the seizure proved that New Zealand is not exempt from drug smuggling efforts from major organized crime groups. The packages were strung up with floating devices and nets and were securely packaged and sealed. Some were labeled with a Batman symbol while others had four-leaf clover symbol. The Batman and four clover symbol on cocaine bricks indicate that they have originated from South America. Drug importers are using a secret stamping system to identify which Australian cartel gets what cut of imported drugs. The use of various logos on packages of coke is common around Latin America and is often used to distinguish the quality or destination of the product. In past years authorities have seen various stampings on cocaine bricks including Bugatti, CK, YouTube, Clover Leaves, Batman and T3J. It is believed that multiple cartels would have been involved in the shipment of this size and its discovery would have angered drug suppliers, bikies and organized crime syndicates across South America and Australia. The authorities are investigating the cause of the drug abandonment and have several theories to consider. Boats discarding cargo is one explanation, as they may throw their cargo overboard if they are being chased to destroy evidence, with the ocean currents carrying the drugs to New Zealand. Another theory is that the bricks were part of a shipment lost during a handover by smugglers. In addition, smugglers may submerge drug packages underwater with a net and anchor, but these packages can sometimes break free. The use of floating cocaine as a diversion tactic by drug syndicates is another possible explanation, as this is a common strategy employed by these groups. Like any other business model, cocaine is sold in multiple kilogram bricks to wholesale distributors, who sell the product to upper-level peddlers. Upper-level distributors control the smuggling and financing of cocaine, this is then sold to town dealers. Once they receive the shipment in form of cocaine bricks which are generally one kilogram each, they are then cut and processed into small doses for sale We estimate market. the wholesale value of the drugs to be around $500 million, and we believe this was destined for the Australian market. We believe there was enough cocaine to service the Australian market for about one year, and this would be more than New Zealand would use in 30 years. No arrests have been made at this stage, but our staff working with our partner agencies continue to investigate the shipment. We have no doubt that a seizure of this scale lands a major financial blow to those involved in its trade, from producers to distributors. This is a um the largest interception um, in New Zealand's history of a particular commodity. Um, it is concerning that we, um, last year's interceptions were in the vicinity of about 800 kilos of uh, cocaine. Um, you can see that this is well tops that, um, but it is an, um, an unfortunate thing that um, methamphetamine for us is still the major uh, drug that we are significantly worried about.